Ooh, Assassin's Creed Unity. That's what we're playing. Welcome back, guys. I am Knuckle Furs, and we are jumping into the PS4 version of Assassin's Creed Unity. Just got it today. Ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. The past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Pretty intense. All right, what do we got here? So, well, this is different. Interesting. So wait, can we play these versions or I guess not? What is that? So the Assassin's Creed franchise is one of the storylines that I follow almost religiously uh, except for their their handheld versions I've probably played yet yeah, actually yeah I've played pretty much all of them uh, I haven't had a chance to grab my hands on the Assassin's Creed Rogue yet I still have my Xbox 360 which, which I plan on uh, throwing it in so uh, let's see what the tragedy of Jacques de Malha. I think that's how you say it all right let's pursue let's uh, let's see what we got here last of the heroic Knights Templar Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Okay, let's go there. So I plan on playing a lot more console games. Um, the PC versions, I plan on at least jumping on with some Smite and some League play, but this is one game I definitely wanted to record and to pursue. I tried to push out Call of Duty, but I guess due to um, copyright, it's kind of hard. I have I heard a lot of streamers are trying to push it out there, but I guess Activision is being very persistent in blocking those out from YouTube. So hopefully Assassin's Creed has a better following or a better pursuit towards the streaming endeavors. Who goes there? A friend of the temple. Flaurak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. You're not rotting in a cell at this moment. I cannot have them. <laughs> we are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. So again, the graphics are amazing. Another hand is at work here. Oh. The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masia, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are very little as the plague, less easily eradicated. Yeah. <laughs> 
We will not prevail this night. But if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster. Go! Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh, yes. I am liking that. Hold on one second. Let me turn my headset down a little bit. There we go. All right. So, a lot of the videos from what I watched about this, the graphics are by far some of the best I've seen in the Assassin's Creed franchise. Of course, with the PS4 supporting it and all the other... Um, uh, new engines and everything developed by Ubisoft. It's 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 just getting stronger and stronger. It's got a bitchin' ass sword. In here? No. How the? All right, where are we going here? I think I have to run across. Yep. Oh! Still falling in that water. Nope, nope! Go back. They've been pretty persistent on switching back and forth between the Templars and the Assassins, and I'm kind of glad that they're actually being a lot more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Pursue it towards both sides of factions. I mean, most in most cases, you always think of the Templar as being bad people, but in in other circumstances, it's actually just different terms of ideals. You got the Templars who are all about control and order, and then you have the assassins who are all about freedom and non-control. Like that guy, still in my damn book. Oh shit! Oh shit! I also heard that they upgraded the parkour in this as well. To take more ass to take more visual prowess towards how parkour is actually performed. Almost looks like it's Altair. Or at least the same clothing line. <laughs> what you got, fool? Come on, man, what you got? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, calm down. Come on. Oh! Alright. A little magic trick, huh? You can even start seeing the graphical corrections they took towards visually showing how hurt he is. You can see the blood stains, and this dude is still not dead. Huh. What the? Futuristic. Alright. Got laser beam swords, dude. Wow, that was kind of an unfair fight. So y'all didn't play the if y'all didn't play the last one, they kind of showed some revelation towards who was related to who. And I'm kind of curious as to how this main character plays in towards the story in terms of like the family tree, if there is an even correlation with the the family tree from the other past characters. Of course, you got two little naked babies protecting the laser sword. S 
son of a bitch. That better not be the same guy. is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple. I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Damn. Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys already have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. So, that looked like the girl from the past games the girl that was with the dude with the glasses but I'm not really sure every time they create a new game after another they kind of graphically change the whole visual aspect of every character so we'll see how this goes but it looks like we're almost pursuing the game through a movie with that whole great glamorous intro that they had Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Oh, how little do you know? Man, these graphics are better. It's hard to believe how much research Ubisoft puts into its uh, development for these games. <laughs> Or how many like historical staff members they have doing all the research for them. And what's this little bitch doing giggling at me behind that statue? Ah uh ho -huh. Young love. <laughs> You'd rather sit with that old prune? Come on. <laughs> uh oh. Got a little seductress in this building. Oh, whoops, I gotta be running, don't I? There we go. Hmm. 
Talk. Oh shit! Who's that? Get one of them hams. Quickly, quickly! Get back here, you fast ass bitch! Allez! Ooh, what's up, baby? Mm-hmm. Watch me. Um. Oh shit! Easy for his royal highness. This is my apple boy. Damn it! The hell's going on? Guess I'll just hide here now. There we go. Done stole the king's apple. All right. Oh shit! All right, all right, dude. My bad. Can't go in here, can I? Shit. Okay, let's just go here now. Hurry, through here. Bitch, you got me running. Why don't you steal an apple too? Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry, they'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. This girl just loves getting people in trouble, doesn't she? Oh, crap. Someone getting their head cut off. I know about you French people. Oh shit. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of the Father? We should all be called. Come here, girls. Now. Father? That's what you get for being late, ladies and gentlemen. Family members get killed. If you didn't go chase around for tail, this wouldn't have happened. Arno. Arno. Look at me. Okay, we weren't gone for that long, but I guess it was long enough for the dude to drop down dead or get murdered. Mm -hmm. I'm sure someone could fix that for you, buddy. Can't win fairly in cards, so you stoop to thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. Just had a nice chat with your brother. Hugo, fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Don't you run. 
The game's afoot! Looks like they've actually taken more time to diversify their characters as well, which is great. Get your fast ass back here, boy! Get him! Get him! There we go. A dickheaded blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come over! Oh, burn! Oh, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> oh, okay, I get. Oh shit! Wise man knows when to admit defeat, Victor. Is he shooting at me, dude? It's just a watch. Oh, here we go. Nice. Wow. Okay. Oh. Man. They really did put a lot of thought into this. All right, guys. Well, that's the first intro to this. Guess we can go through the prologue and then we'll pursue further. But uh, thanks for watching. Again, this is Nuggle Furs. Like this video and subscribe. And then uh, we will see where else we can go with